my motherfucking ass up out of here and concentrate before I get to talking. I'm just gonna get cut. You got a goodie. Okay, so, <laughs> like I said, um, listen, y'all gonna see this wig, hat wig, wig, whatever you want to call it, cap wig, whatever. Y'all gonna see it over and over and over again, okay? That's how that's gonna work, because I ain't got time to be doing my hair. I run around and chase teenagers all day. I ain't putting no hair on. And my natural hair is too hot. I'm not going to do it. Like, literally, it's, it takes me two seconds to put this on. Two seconds. And it fell off today at school. It was so funny. Literally, everybody at school noticed the wig anyway. Pull the stocking cap down or whatever. But it takes me two seconds. And if you know me, you know I don't like it dressed. Like, I, I, I oversleep. So, I literally have like 10 minutes to get ready. I ain't got time for all that. So, this hat wig gonna be where it's at. I'm about to order me another one in a different color and a different style because I'm just gonna keep wearing it and I don't care what nobody gotta say. I got wigs at home, but they hot. And I don't wanna braid my hair because last time I braided my hair, my hair fell out. So, anyway, no need for explanation. I'm cutting that off. And my apologies if it's loud. I won't know until I'm going back to watch this so can't really help you there and i'm doing a drive vlog houston is very fucking raggedy we might get some bumps we might get some bumps it's gonna be a few bumps it ain't it ain't smooth okay it ain't smooth so just be prepared to shake a little bit um or hit a little bit and don't mind my ears y'all that's my steering wheel cover but i'm being safe I'm not looking at y'all. I'm looking at the road. And hopefully y'all can hear me. But I did this because people have been requesting more vlogs from me. And um, I want to be consistent. But the thing is, with my life, I'm when I'm not at work, I'm at home at the computer. So as of now, like lately, I ain't really had nothing interesting going on to just be vlogging like that. Gala week was a whole week. Like, that was some interesting shit we had going on. That was worth all the content. But now, it's literally like, y'all will just be watching me sit at a computer. And I can't vlog at work because I work at a school. So, I can't put the kids on camera and then post it to the internet. Definitely gonna lose my job if not catch, catch a case. Can't do that either. So, it causes me to vlog less because it's like, damn... I, I ain't doing shit, so that's gonna be tough. Unless I just sit and talk to y'all like my normal videos be. So I'm gonna have to mix it up, do a little dizzle dazzle and figure out. But I did think about this idea though. And I'm tired of shit, let me just say that. Uh, first disclaimer, I cuss. If you don't like cussing, fuck off. Like, just, just exit now. Exit now if you don't like cussing, cause I cuss a lot. You gonna hear motherfucker in every other word. I don't. It's a habit. I literally cannot help it. Like I literally cannot help it, and I probably could if I tried, but I'm not trying. So therefore, I can't help it. So if you don't like it, you don't want to hear it. This ain't for you. This this it's just not for you. The channel not for you. Um, but if you like, ah, girl, we grown. You know, you do what you do. Stay. Um, and I also ain't got no sense. But anyway back to what I was saying I was like let me do a drive vlog so that'll give me about a good 15 minutes to talk to y'all um or 15 to 20 from the time it takes me to get from Stafford to my house because again I'm doing stuff for work as per usual but I wanted to talk about life as an entrepreneur y'all watched the gala vlog you better have watched it because it was two hours I know it was long but I put a lot in the edit in that, so y'all better have watched it, or I'm gonna be real sad. Like, go watch it. It's funny and it's good. So go watch it, get you some popcorn and a drink or whatever, get you some wine, whatever you're gonna do, have movie night with no kids though, because y'all are my cuss. Um, and, and go and get that thing popping. But entrepreneurship life is hard, and this week has been particularly hard. 
For one, it's already hard when you have another job on top of that. And your job hard, that's that's a lot. Um, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of bone you. And oh, I hope I don't miss my hold on, y'all. Make sure I don't miss my goddamn turn if I can turn. But it's my turn. I don't think I missed it. I don't think I missed my check maps. It's fooling with y'all. I'm gonna be lost. Oh, okay. Turn that next signal. Next signal. Um, I had to go to Starbucks because I'm so damn sleepy. It, it makes nobody's fucking sense. Oh. That's a little cold. I don't know how I feel about that. And my screen is wrapped too damn hot. Let's... Hold on. Let me see. Y'all, I'm gonna... This was a little hot. But then she made my banana nut very cold. I'm so disappointed in so many different ways. God damn it. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, lose my train of thought. Like I was saying. Entrepreneur life is hard. Period. Whether you a part-time entrepreneur, whether you just starting, whether you a veteran, whether you full-time, it's complicated. It takes a lot out of you. Um, it drains you. There are going to be times where you want to quit. And you be like, fuck this shit, I ain't doing it. Trust me, I know, because I'm like that this week. So people been getting the real nonchalant me. Like, I really want to say to everybody that so much as looks in my direction calls my phone, texts me, or says anything to me on social media. And excuse my language. And this is no offense to y'all. I promise this is me. Leave me the fuck alone. That's it. That's all I want to say. Like, I, I really want to cut my whole phone off. Like, both of them. Just cut them off. Just fuck everybody. Like, <laughs> I'm like in that mood. So, I can't do that. So, I've just been, oh, okay. Like, I just kind of, I'm very nonchalant about shit. I don't care about a lot of things right now. So, you can come to me and don't tell me no good news. Like, I'm going to pretend, but I'm really just not feeling it. And that comes with being an entrepreneur. Like, it's it's hard. And, boom. And when you have a job, a part-time job. Is my phone getting hot? Okay. When you have a part-time job, a non-profit uh, F, two LLCs and you're a motivational speaker and you have a YouTube channel that's six things I got going on and that's it it's probably some more but that's six things I got going on I gotta go to Yes Prep I gotta go to work part time 20 hours a week and lately I've been working more like 35 so I gotta do that I have accounting clients I have publishing clients I have that was illegal as the fuck <laughs> damn he get no fucks he just, why people so ruthless out these streets I have publishing clients I do motivational speaking and workshops and stuff so I have to do that as you remember if you watch more vlogs or the one before the gala vlog you'll see that I had a workshop for HCC so I have to do that. And and TTM, my nonprofit in itself, is a whole job. Like it that's what probably drains me the most is because it requires so much. And I've been doing it for five years. And I'm glad I got a decent team. I don't know what this is on my face, but I don't like it. I'm not it's disrespectful. I'm not fucking with it. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm so random. I will say the most random shit. Like, no, for real. It's like sugar or some shit. I don't know. But I'm grateful I have a good team. Because if I didn't, oh, I really wouldn't make it. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't make it because it's too much work. It's And my team is small. It's too much work for just us. So let alone me. 
Like, it's just way too much put into it. I love my baby to death. I do. She gonna blow up and grow up and glow up. God damn, I got bars. <laughs> Come on, bars. Um, But it's tiring. And I did this, like, mind you, right now I'm tired of shit. I really want to fall asleep at this wheel. I'm tired of shit. Both my phones on Do Not Disturb. I am fucking tired. But I have to run errands for work or for my work or just in general whatever so i can't sit at home like when i get home i gotta do more work it's like every time i try to rest it's some more work and work have deadlines so you have to meet deadlines so it ain't like i i get on myself because i think it's like time management but it's really not time management though it's more so like bro you just got too much shit to do like you doing too much it ain't time it the, sh the amount of shit that i gotta do don't fit in one day so you need to figure out how to spread the shit say no whatever and figure it out that way because otherwise it ain't gonna work hence while i'm part-time at work because i couldn't be full-time I, 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 no like just thinking about it even my therapist talking to her yesterday she was like don't do that to yourself don't do that to yourself like you literally will have a breakdown I know I'm going to have a breakdown because I'm going to be that tired because I'm tired now and I'm only working part-time hours. So, I say that to say if you're going to be an entrepreneur, if you're going into the entrepreneur life, if you just started being an entrepreneur, go for it. Go for it. Do your thing. I'm going to push you until you fall in a good way because... I want more of us and more people to be entrepreneurs and because you don't and people kill me with this especially my family you don't want to work for somebody for the rest of your life but if you do that's okay because a lot of people ain't built to be entrepreneurs like me and Christian was having this conversation Christian is not built to be an entrepreneur and that's not it has nothing to do with her knowledge it has nothing to do with any of that it's not an insult we both agree it's not in her she's better off being supportive of me as an entrepreneur so basically sis get to eat and help me from behind the scenes without having to be the actual entrepreneur like you always it's like a president and a vice president like we are you have your president you got your vice president most people don't know the vice president does all the work the president just the president so the vice president normally does more work it's the same thing like that you the CEO, the CFO, or whoever under you or next to you is probably doing more work. That's how that shit works. She not made to be the CEO. She's made to be the next person in line. And if you really want me to go, she ain't made to be the head boss, big boss, cartel boss. She made to be the right hand man. <laughs> like, I mean, I can however many ways y'all want me to put it. Everybody not meant to be an entrepreneur. So don't sit here and try to like, ah, oh, damn, I got to start something. I got to do this. I got to do that. You don't got to do a goddamn thing to stay black and die if you're black. Um, I sound like my grandma. Goddamn. But don't automatically think that you have to do that. That's first. If you are going to be an entrepreneur, if you're going to start something, if you're going to create something, I don't care if it's a channel, a craft, a business, a nonprofit, anything anything go for it but beware be fucking aware do your research first of all talk to god before you do anything don't make one move without talking to god because i got a lot of choices i need to make and make soon and i can't it's like i have to talk to him first before i make these choices like when i made the choice to go part-time for the last seven years because TTM started. Me and God had a conversation. He knew TTM was going to blow up. He knew that my books were going to blow up. So he said, you know what? I'm going to make it so you can work part-time and still pay your bills, but you need to go ahead and start this movement. Sis. And you ain't going to be able to do it working full-time because it's going to tell you it. And that's exactly how that went. And I've been part-time ever since. And I'm not going back. Every time I try to go back, something happens. So I'm not going back. And from outside people and sometimes with myself, it's like financially, that's the move. 
because another part of being an entrepreneur is you're not going to generate no money for them first few years. Like, them first, where I'm at, I'm sorry, it's shaking because I'm on, I'm on this little thing. But for them first, by three years, official or unofficial, like whether you got your LLC or not, because I didn't have mine for a little while while I was working. I was just doing shit. <laughs> like, I just was doing, it was accounting with no LLC and all that shit. Um, it, it's going to take about three or four years. You got to build up clientele. You got, like, it takes time to plan, if not longer than that, before you see a profit. It's people who've been business 10 years ain't seen no profit yet. But they're not going to give up. And that's the hard part. You got to stay in it while you ain't seeing no profit in order to see the profit. You feel me? And it's that moment when you give up and then later you regret that you did that. Because you start looking and don't look at other people. Oh, that's another thing. Oh, I could be on here all day talking to y'all about that. So I'm going to have to make this a part one, part two situation. Don't look at what other people are doing. Now, while you may have a mentor or somebody that can give you entrepreneurial advice, like, say, fans, is me. I can give you all the advice in the world on being an entrepreneur, but you can't. Sir, what is you doing? What is you doing? Quit playing with me. Hey. Um, I can give you all the advice in the world, but you can't look at my business and say, oh, I want to be like Miranda. Oh, I want Miranda business. Like, she look like she doing good. Like, a lot of people think I got money. I ain't no fucking money. I just know, like, I'm just what like people look at my social media and assume that i have money or some type of status like yes i am successful for my age and what i do i'm not your average 30 29 year old finna be 29 year old 30 year old fucking i'm not your average 30 year old i wasn't your average 21 22 year old either because my first book came out when i was 22 so while i may not be your average uh 30 year old and I may be a few steps ahead of people. I ain't got no money. Like, I really don't. Like, at all. Like, period. Like, that's it. I ain't got no, ain't none here. And the reason why I ain't got none is because I invested in myself. And I have yet to see a profit on that. But I'm claiming it. I always claim it. I claim it every day. It's going to happen because this is what God wanted for my life. I'm convinced. People, like, think I'm crazy. Like, when I first told my mom about the trip movement, I was like, Mom, I got this dope idea. Like, it's going to be called the Trouble Movement. I had already came out with my book and everything. I was like, it's going to be called the Trouble Movement. And we're going to help girls. Because at first, Trouble Movement was just girls. And I was like, we're going to help these girls. And we're going to do this and this. And it's going to be a takeover and all kind of stuff. And we're going to do this. I mean, I had, like, I was hype, bro. Like, real hype. She was like, uh-uh, girl, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what all that is. You just need to focus and go to work and get your check and pay your bills. Because I don't I don't understand what you're saying. Rude. Okay, shot my idea down. But that's the type of family that I come from. That's the type of family and culture a lot of us come from. We come from that, that culture where it's like you work 9 to 5, you go to job, get your go to work, get your check, pay your bills, and leave it at that. You ain't starting shit. You ain't inventing shit. You ain't doing shit. None of that. That's the type of... That's how a lot of us were brought up. Like, that's what we're surrounded by. It's like, what's an entrepreneur? Like, I have yet to get my grandma to understand what it is I'm doing. Every time she called me, Granny, I'm busy. Granny, I'm working. Granny, I'm working. Well, I don't understand why you work so much. You got a part-time job. And what's going on with this and this and this? Like, they... Some people just don't get it. That generation just don't get it. Because they didn't come up like that. So everybody ain't going to get it. And even people that's in your generation still ain't going to get it. But that don't mean not do it. I still did the trouble movement. And now I'm looking like, ah, <laughs> bitch, I tried to tell you. Like, <laughs> that's literally how I be feeling sometimes when I think back. I be like, man, bro, I remember when I was hype about this. And I, like, really had the momentum to start it. And people thought I was crazy. But now it's like, look at me now. Look at me now. Look at you now. Look at us now. Didn't I tell you we was going to be here? Okay. I was just trying to make sure. But those are the moments that you live for. Being in this game five years or longer, probably 
really if you go back to the original original more like seven eight years being but i'm gonna say five being in the game this long i can tell you that shit ain't easy and there's people that's been in the game longer than me that's gonna tell you that shit ain't easy it ain't gonna never be easy i guarantee you as jeff bezos or bill gates or whoever done started some shit they still struggling like it's they might not be struggling financially, but they're struggling because something is going to happen because nothing in life is easy and nothing is given to you. And like John 16, 33 say, in this world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. So it has already been said that you're going to go through things. Life is not easy. It's not supposed to be. If life was easy, I wouldn't even want it. Like I want the struggle as much as I hate it and as much as it hurt. And as, as tired as I am, bitch, get off my ass. Don't walk across the street because I'm going to hit you. Um, <laughs> as tired as I am, I still would not want an easy life. Like, there's because there's going to come a time. It could be next week. It could be next month. It could be next year. where Or it could be when I'm re-watching this video at a later date. Where I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember this week. I'm going to remember the weeks before or the other times that I had these moments where I'm just like, bro, fuck this. Like, I quit. Throw it away. I don't want it. I don't want nothing. Leave me the fuck alone. Like, I'm going to remember and appreciate those moments. I'm going to appreciate these moments because it's going to be like, damn, bro, you really was about to give up. But you look at you now. Like, you on, fam. You good. So, it's important to have that. And let me hurry up because, again, I got work to do. I got to interview somebody. And my neighbor's going to be loud as fuck, so I can't take y'all out with me because they ghetto and shit. Oh, God. Not ghetto. Like, well, I'm ghetto. Hell, we all ghetto, but it don't matter. But, moral to the story is, again, if you're going to be an entrepreneur or if you are an entrepreneur already, Know what comes with it. Know that you're going to have some hard times. No matter how many years you into it. Know that it's okay to want to give up. And it's okay to want to say fuck it. It's okay to even take a temporary break. Because TCM done been on a couple of sabbaticals. It's okay to just say, you know what, fuck it for the moment. I'm going to take a break. That's what I need to do. And what soon real soon because i'm tired and burnt out but it's okay to take a step back it's okay to because when you take a step back and then you revamp you get more spiritually aligned it's a lot of benefits that come with that so um it's okay to do that it is it's okay to take a break it's okay i don't want i like people are hard on themselves like oh my god i started this so i gotta finish no you don't not not right now every wrong was not built in a day you don't have you're not gonna succeed at everything right when you start doing it it's gonna take some blood sweat tears grind hustle all kinds of nitty-gritty in that thing to get it to where you want it to be and it, it's gonna take time because eventually i want ttm to be a big ass community center or a big school or all over the country that's gonna take time a long time and i know that and i'm okay with that so you have to be okay with that don't be upset when you don't reach a goal just keep shooting towards it and if you don't want to reach that goal no more you want to switch it up switch it up oh lord i need a refill but that's my advice to you that's my little entrepreneur talk um again i don't know i might have to do a part two it depends i'm gonna just drop this one and then i'm gonna let y'all decide because i don't be knowing like i don't be knowing y'all gotta tell me and i need y'all another favor first of all like comment and subscribe anyway subscribe i already said it um i need y'all to go ahead and like watch this over and over all the way through let my videos play while y'all sleep so i can get them watch hours up though because one of my other goals is to get my youtube monetized um just as passive income like it's i love youtube it's something fun i like to do i've been having this channel for a little while but i actually want my youtube to be monetized so i'm working towards that that's another one of my goals i kind of just added on there i was like you know what you can do this you can make it happen but a part of that is having four thousand watch hours so yeah that's a lot
And if you follow me on social media, you'll see me post Journey to 4,000. Because that's what that's what it is. Hashtag Journey to 4,000. That's how Trump movement started. It was like hashtag Trump movement. God, them hashtags really be manifestation. Y'all better, y'all better tune in. But I will post this and let me know if you want a part two or another topic or anything. Because I can vlog and talk and um, I will drive. drive. I know I ain't supposed to be driving and talking and all that. Yeah, we know. I wasn't. I was paying attention to the road. Um, so let me know what y'all want. Cause I really don't be knowing. I just go based off what people tell me. And literally like one of my kids even was like, miss, when you going to put another vlog video up? Like what, what's taking you so long? I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Give me a second. I'm coming. I'm coming. And here I am. So when she see this, she going to know I'm talking about her. I'm not going to put, I'm not going to call her out, but you know. You know, yeah, you. I see you watching. She gonna text me. Text me when you see this part. But I love y'all, and I got to get in the house because I got a bunch of stuff to do. Like, a bunch. A bunch. I'm not gonna even list it to y'all. It's just, it's just a lot. A lot of shit is what I gotta do. Um, And I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the week. It is Today is Wednesday, May 26th. Happy birthday, Travis, if you watching. Um, had to go and throw that out there. Or if Cherise watching or somebody watching. But, yeah. And y'all tell my mama happy birthday in the comments. Because she turned 30, 32. Lord have mercy. She don't love that. 52 on Friday. So, I'll see y'all later. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.